Hey guys, Jeremy here from Christocentric YouTube channel. I'd like to welcome you. A few years ago I noticed there was a lot of amateur video on YouTube of two suns in the sky. Some called it Nibiru or Planet X. Others believed it was another star in our own, in our own solar system, making ours a binary star system. That is to say, our star is orbiting with another star. Uh, both of these theories have historical lore in the oldest known cultures. Uh, Nibiru is well documented in the Sumerian culture. Uh, the Mayan people saw what they called the Red Kachina. The Chinese people recorded what they called a, the Great Dragon in the Sky. As far as the star theory goes, uh, the Jews recorded what they believed to be another star they called the Destroyer. Uh, modern astrophysicists theorize another dark star being a brown dwarf or a red dwarf that emits light outside of the visible spectrum, therefore not visible or hard to see. They call this star Nemesis. Now they call this star Nemesis and the Destroyer because every time it comes through its orbit, uh, close to the Earth and the Sun, it causes havoc in the solar system. Okay. So, with this prophesied asteroid impact on September 24th, uh, 2015, Jade Helm going on right now, and uh, people finding 923 and 924 in movies and television, kind of like uh, the 911s we've seen in uh, many movies before the 911 attack. In fact, 923 and 924 is all over YouTube. Guys like Mr. Cat Eye, who I deeply respect as possibly the best out there for decoding uh, numerology and subliminal message, has found 923 and 924 in pretty much every Google Doodle, crop circle, or movie that he's decoded for the last six months. Renee M is another channel who's revealed uh, these dates over and over. Um, so anyways, back to the two sun stuff. You can see two sun videos, tons of them on YouTube anytime you want to, all of which are amateur video. But this one, this video I'm going to show you today is of two suns on the BBC's Wonders of Life series. This is the first I've seen this on the mainstream. And uh, this is the first I've seen anybody cover this footage on YouTube at all. So I ask that you follow through to the end because I think Mr. Brian Cox is actually warning those who have eyes to see and those who have ears to hear that there possibly might be something coming in the near future. Anyways, you guys check it out. This creature is a wonder of nature. You're looking at what's left of a gigantic asteroid strike. One that wiped out three quarters of all plants and animal species when it hit the Earth 65 million years ago. You may think that impacts from space are a thing of the past, a thing that only happened to the dinosaurs, but that's not true either. About 55 million kilograms of rock hits the Earth every year, and around 2% of that is water. This hints... This hints water arrived from space. Late in 2010, 
these glimpses of Comet Hartley II arrived back on Earth. They were sent by NASA's Deep Impact Probe. From its surface, dust and ice spray into space. Analysis of this water found it had a very similar mixture of isotopes to the water in our own oceans. This was the first firm evidence that icy comets must have contributed to the formation of our world's oceans. So from quite early in its history, our home has been able to hang on to this most vital of ingredients. But to trace the origin of the next ingredient, you have to look beyond our planet. To our nearest star. Almost all life depends on the energy that the sun sends our way. But the sun is a far from benevolent companion because its radiant rain can be as dangerous as it is nourishing. That's more than enough to burn unprotected skin in just a few minutes. That's more than enough. That's more than enough.
That's more than enough. That's more than enough to burn unprotected skin in just a few minutes. And that's because what arrives from the sun is far more than just the stuff we can see.